Today is the first official day of NFL free agency, and it's time for the New England Patriots to make some moves. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. We've talked so much about Tom Brady's departure and who the next quarterback is going to be in 2020. But we've talked a lot of off air and how important it is to bolster the rest of this roster, because guess what? The next quarterback isn't going to be up to Tom Brady's caliber or anywhere close. So what do they need to do to make sure the supporting cast is up to par? Exactly. Listen, we talk a lot about the quarterback position, and rightfully so. Who's going to replace Tom Brady, who the next guy is going to be? But quite frankly, A, he's going to be much worse than Tom Brady. I think we can say that with an utmost certainty. And B, the supporting cast around Tom Brady last year was what it was. We all know that. And it hasn't gotten any better for the next guy. And if he's worse than Tom Brady, then that means that the whole offense is then going to be even worse than the product that we saw last year. So you look around the league, right? And you look at teams that have struggles at quarter at the quarterback position and how they win teams that do win successfully without a really a big time QB. You look at a team like the Chicago bears or the Rams with Jared Goff or someone, even the Niners to a degree with Jimmy Garoppolo, right? What do they all have in common? They have great weapons around those guys. And they have guys that those quarterbacks can just distribute the ball to and let the playmakers do the rest of the work. And sometimes it gets them where they want to be the Super Bowl for the Niners. Sometimes it doesn't, but at the same time, what they have right now, New England at the depth chart, at wide receiver, at tight end, we knew going into the offseason that it wasn't enough, and it's still not enough. It, nothing has changed just because Tom Brady isn't here. So some of the names that I would look for, listen, I think Robbie Anderson's market is a little bit interesting right now. Jets, Former Jets wide receiver, obviously, Robbie Anderson, he's still an unrestricted free agent at the moment. The fact that nobody has bit on him early in the process, despite the fact that he's one of the best 30 free agents available, I would say, is a little bit of a telling sign to me that maybe his market isn't as robust as he thought. So that's an interesting kind of value play. Emmanuel Sanders is still out there. I talked about Brashad Perryman a little bit before free agency began. The tight end position, obviously Austin Hooper is off the list. Eric Ebron is still out there. My guy, Eric Ebron, maybe that's the direction they go. But the point of the matter is the thesis of this entire video is that the Patriots have a lot more work to do, in my opinion, on the roster around the next quarterback than actually focusing on who the next guy is going to be. And what do you think it's going to take to kind of lessen the blow of Tom Brady leaving around New England? Because honestly, that's all anyone can talk about. And there's no distraction from the Patriots because they virtually have not have made no moves so far in free agency. Yeah, I mean, I think the really the biggest thing with Tom Brady and, and finding a way to move on from that is twofold. One, I think you got to count on Jared Stidham being the real deal. I, I, I think that you just need to hope that that guy is as good as the team thinks he is as of right now, which is they, they love the guy. They think that he's a really interesting player and he's hopefully going to project or eventually develop into a starting caliber quarterback. I'm not sure if he's there yet right now. But again, I really think that the model the Patriots need to look at is stacking the rest of the roster around Stidham and allowing Stidham to have some success with players around him elevating the passing game. And I understand that they don't have that a ton of cap space. They don't have a ton of options in terms of adding veteran talent, but they're going to have to find ways to maneuver the cap and maybe use more draft picks again on skill position players to figure this entire thing out. Because if it's Stidham, if it's Andy Dalton, if it's Jameis Winston, if it's a drafted quarterback, it really isn't going to make a difference if this the guy is throwing to Mohamed Sanu, Julian Edelman, Ryan Izzo, and Nikhil Harry. It's just that's going to be the same exact thing as last year, if not worse. Well, we'll keep you updated with all the Patriots free agency moves on our website at clnsmedia.com and on our brand new YouTube page that you should subscribe to at Patriots Press Pass.